before we start this video, I want to give a big shout out to my KOG members of the month, Ryan McDonough, Blue Cat, Pablo Velasquez, Run2127, and Nero Diamond. You guys are all awesome. Just saying. If you want your name here, consider hitting that join button for exclusive channel benefits. How's it going, everybody? RNG Live here, and welcome to another one of these videos. I don't know what they're called. I think it's just like, will these cards work in Duel Links? So today, I'm basically here to talk about the new cards that have been recently announced. The new cards from the 2020 Tin of Lost Memories. That's coming out soon, uh, in like August or something over here. Uh, so we're going to get some TCG exclusive uh, uh, Blue Eyes, Dark Magician support, technically Red Eyes as well. But it's some straight up classic anime stuff and when I saw these cards I was like you know what these were made for Duel Links a hundred percent these cards were made to be put into Duel Links so then because they're also TCG exclusive mind you so since they are TCG exclusive uh, that means that a lot of OCG players won't have their hands on it for a while and they could possibly play it in Duel Links and be like you know what I like these cards. Let me pick them up in uh, IRL when they finally come out. You guys see the list of cards on the bottom. You always see some Dark Magician. You guys see some Blue Eyes. You guys see a familiar face there of a really busted boy. Uh, so we're going to be going all of them and we're going to be talking about whether they are either too weak or too strong for Duel Links. And we're going to be putting them along this Tier Maker thing. I'm using the Tier Maker just to adjust it. It's not really a Tier thing. I'm just using it to kind of coordinate my thoughts. So today is going to be pretty short. We only have four cards to look at. So let's go ahead and get things started. The first card we're looking at is the card Successor Soul. Now, Successor Soul over here is a quick play spell, which means automatically, you know, quick plays are like they have the potential to be really, really good. Now, the effect does state tribute one effect monster, then target one effect monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard, then special summon one level seven or higher normal monster from your hand or deck at the cost of tributing an effect monster which should be pretty easy to do and every deck more or less runs some effect monsters yeah who runs vanillas nowadays at least uh level four or lower vanillas unless it's like a tuner or something uh but yeah it, you, all you gotta do is tribute that effect monster and you get to pretty much target you do have to you have to target that's one downside so it does target, so you gotta target one effect monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard, meaning it doesn't matter if it's immune to destruction or whatever, it's being sent to the grave. So that means no matter what, that thing's going to the grave, so very, very nice. And then on top of that, you get to special summon one level 7 or higher normal monster from your hand or deck, which means that's a free red eyes, that's a free dark magician, that's a free blue eyes, for example. Dude, it could be anything. You could summon rabid dragon if you want, but yeah, so that's kind of cool. Very, very interesting. I can think of a few decks that might want to use this. You can only activate one successor soul per turn, and you can only attack with one monster during the turn you activate this card. Now, let's go ahead and see. What do you guys think about this card? I personally think successor soul, a card that is able to pretty much get rid of an, an, uh, an, a monster on your opponent's side of the field very easily because it sends it and then it replaces it by putting one big monster on your side of the field be it like a dark magician or something in combination with dark magical circle and stuff dude you can just banish something else on top of that uh in combination with a few things you, you can kind of mess around with a lot of combos i personally think this card judging the current power level in duel links i think this would be a definite upgrade to dark magician i think it'd be fair in duel links i feel like it is fair i mean i might say it might be perfect for duel links but it, i'm, I'm border, borderline too strong but i think it would be perfect actually all right so in the end i think this card might be perfect for duel links on that on that level because all it will do is just bring back dark magician blue eyes maybe even red eyes so it'll just bring these decks back and it'll just make them kind of uh, strong for a while so i think this card is pretty decent all right next up we have the card destined rivals a uh, destined rivals is a normal trap card that says if you control blue eyes white dragon dark magic or dark magician i mean uh negate the effects of all face-up monsters your opponent currently controls until the end of this turn and you can only activate one destined rivals per turn now destined rivals here's this card now i don't know about this card but i feel like it's 
you first of all you need to have a, a very situational uh, like condition you need the blue eyes or dark magician on the field to activate so if you're not going to have those monsters this card is useless and it's a trap card so it's just going to be there kind of chilling it has no second effect no effect in the graveyard no no banish effect no nothing it's just hey if i have a blue eyes if i have a dark magician uh negates all monsters on the field but it doesn't negate all monsters that will be summoned as well so it's gonna stop whatever is on the field currently so i think this card is i would say maybe a little bit weak to fair i think it's fair in duel links it's not the strongest it's not the weakest i think it's an all right card yes it can be really really good to just say like oh my opponent's popping off i have a blue eyes i have a dark magician bam uh your monster effects are now negated if you are relying on monster effects well gg you're now stuck and now you're gonna have to summon more things to kind of pop off so i think it's a really fair card i think it's not busted in any way if anything we might actually be getting this i'm not sure dude i just feel like it's definitely one of those cards that konami would be like oh yeah that card's that guy that card's easy to throw in it's not gonna disrupt anything <laughs> that one's fair dude that one's completely fair so there you guys have it destined rivals put into the fair category all right next up we have another card and this one is called strength in unity so this is a continuous spell card that says if you ritual or fusion summon using using blue eyes white dragon or dark magician you can target one card your opponent controls or in their graveyard hmm banish it all right all right period that's looking pretty strong that's looking pretty good that feels like it's kind of like a, a circle um because all you got to do is ritual or fusion using blue eyes or, or dark magician this can be this can be used in any ritual deck as long as you use maybe oh wait does it say you have to use dark magician from your hand huh if you ritual summon using blue eyes dude what about advanced ritual art dude using blue eyes or dark magician from the deck that means that i can use this in my demise deck and i would get a banish on summon which is kind of crazy so right off the bat that means i would get uh to summon my big boy his, he's out now i also get the effect of this card which means i can immediately banish something because i use one of those monsters so i think this card is looking pretty strong right off the bat so not bad uh so let's keep reading it says you can send this face up card from the field to the graveyard then target one level seven or higher normal monster in your graveyard oh my goodness all right add it to your hand or shuffle it into the deck you can only use the effect of uh, strength of unity or strength in unity once per turn all right so right off the bat i think this would be perfect in my demise deck <laughs> i've made a video on that if you guys don't want to go check that out it's a very very like it's it's a quick meme deck where it's just like i'm gonna summon a monster blow up the board attack you for double damage and win every single time and that's pretty much what it does now this card would be pretty good because that means if they have a set card or any monster or anything whatever they have um you get to basically banish it on summon now i don't know about the rulings i don't know how fast Fast this card is i do know that you i think you do have to ritual or fusion summon so the, the monster has to hit the board and it had to have used one of those monsters so once it hits the board they're probably still gonna chain it they're probably still gonna mess you up but i still think it's a really really good card to be able to use by the way it also says fusion so it's not just ritual so if you want a fusion summon using a uh, dark magician which i mean dude imagine cavalry decks getting a boost with this card i don't know dude i think cavalry like just having the ability to fuse into him so i think that card it, plus this would be a little bit dangerous so uh, i think strength in unity might be a little bit too strong for duel links i feel like this might be a kind of a generic circle dark magician circle dark magical circle uh but it, it could be using anything and i'm just like oh man this card is a little bit dangerous a little bit sketchy uh so it might be a little bit too strong for dual links so i don't know if we're gonna be seeing this but if we do i think it'd be pretty interesting and last but not least we have one last card to talk about now this card is your boy down here you guys have been looking at him you guys have been seeing him the whole video now if you guys don't know what this guy is um you've been living under a rock probably or you're just not not familiar with uh, Yu-Gi-Oh cards, customs, whatever. Uh, you got this card over here who is a, a very large boy. This is Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. And oh my goodness, do I got a story to tell you about this card. Or just in general. Basically, uh, let's read off his effects and let's read off all his stuff. It says, it is a level 8 dark spellcaster type fusion effect monster. It is 3,000 attack, 2,500 defense the materials are Dark Magician plus Red-Eyes Black Dragon or 
one dragon effect monster, meaning he's super easy to summon. You know why? Because he says red eyes in his text. You know what happens when you have red eyes in your text? You confuse with red eyes fusion from the deck, my dude. That means this is this card is quite busted. Uh, so right off the bat, you're easily able to summon this 3000 beater for free just by top decking into a red eyes fusion so it's super easy to summon it's a large large lad and it's just really really strong so cool let's go ahead and actually read its effects now we've we've just gotten over the actual summoning conditions so now it says it cannot be destroyed by card effects right off the bat you have a thing that cannot be destroyed by card effects battle sure but I Trust me, guys, I don't think you're going to be destroying this thing by battle, unless you can get very, very, very large. But it does say, cannot be destroyed by card effects. Oh my goodness, that's kind of huge. Uh, so, cool. Uh, it says, neither player can target this card with card effects. Meaning, you can't even power it up, dude. You cannot even give this guy any kind of equip spells. That means this guy is just a big, untouchable behemoth. So, GG, can't be destroyed, can't be targeted already kind of insane just to have a free fusion with a one card in hand you're like okay i top deck into a miracle i summon red eyes dark dragoon uh and we're not even done with this effect <laughs> you guys see the effect on screen but yeah all right so it also says during your main phase uh you can destroy one monster your opponent controls <gasps> if you do inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack are you kidding me destroy a like literally oh effect Pop blue eyes. Okay, you take 3,000 damage. GG, pretty cool. I still, I still get to attack you, right? You can use this effect a number of times per turn equal to the number of normal monsters used as a fusion material for this card. Meaning, if you've used both Dark Magician and Red Eyes, the vanilla versions, not a uh, sub, uh, like a dark effect, whatever, an effect dragon. If you use Red Eyes and Dark Magician, this guy gets his effect twice. He can literally pop, pop one Blue Eyes, the second Blue Eyes, or whatever other card they have on the field, burn them for 3,000, burn them for another 3,000. Oh my goodness, this card is insane, dude. All right, so right off the bat, that's a really, really strong ability. Also, not locking out his ability to attack because he's also very, very large. Uh, but the effect ain't done here, folks. The effect ain't done here. Once per turn, when a card or effect is activated, quick effect by the way I mean, you know you guys know the beauty of a card saying quick effect you can use it on either player's turn that means it's really really good uh you can discard one card negate the activation so once per turn when a card or effect is activated discard a card negate the activation whenever you want on your turn on your opponent's turn you know how strong that is oh my goodness that's busted dude a card or effect is activated. So the only thing that doesn't stop is just, I guess, a normal summon or, or a special summon of something. But if it tries to get its effect, oh man, that thing's going to get jabated indeed, uh, which is insane and it's scary. So discard a card, negate the activation, and if you do destroy that card as well, and if you do that, this card gains a thousand attack. You guys do not understand the power of this card. It's so strong. Immediately, I'm putting it here. No contest, dude. This card will absolutely destroy Duel Links. This will be the only card played for like centuries. Okay, so there you guys have it. I don't know. I'm telling you guys, I would love to play red eyes dark dragoon in duel links i think it'd be so much fun to summon this guy and just be unstoppable but unfortunately having a like 4000 plus beater that can negate things and is unable to be destroyed or targeted and is super easy to summon and can destroy things and burn your opponent for it, oh their full damage is a little bit too strong for Duel Links if you don't think so. Uh, but hey, if you guys have any other opinions on some of these cards, let me know in the comments below. Maybe you guys think some of these cards are, I don't know, maybe a little bit weaker, maybe a little bit stronger. Maybe you guys have an idea for a really cool combo that makes one of these cards insanely busted on the tier of our Dragoon Boy over here. So I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. But that's pretty much it for today. I just wanted to, I just wanted to talk about these cards because yeah, they were coming out and I was like, dude, these are gonna be in Duel Links. But whatever, that's pretty much that. And if you guys enjoyed, go ahead and leave a like, share, and subscribe for more Duel Link shenanigans. But anyway, thank you guys for watching today. Have a great day, and see